Do you know that you are a work of art? Man is the greatest product of God. I mean a man designed to think, talk and act with God. Are you living in tune with God? What's your status before God today? Without the indwelling grace of the Holy Spirit, man is but a shadow of the one that God created. The man God created was not a mere carnal one governed by his senses, but a communicator between visible and invisible worlds. God and man used to talk together as friends. But one day, man broke the relationship by disobedience and went away from God. He then went further away until finally he left home. He left his native land Eden where he lived with God. He emigrated from God's presence. And since then, God has been eager to be talking again with his old friend. But man, in leaving the presence of his creator, had lost his mother tongue. I mean, he lost his original language with God and became unable to communicate with his creator in spirit and in truth. The natural man cannot hear or talk to God. This is a challenge we are facing today. Although God speaks again and again, so many do not pay attention to what he says. The silence is hard on God. And as eager as the father of the prodigal son was to see his son come back home, God is eager to be on intimate terms again with man, his old friend. That is why he had to choose a language that man would understand. So he sent his son, Jesus Christ, on earth to bring man, his old friend, back to himself. God honored the human language by calling Jesus the Word. The Word became flesh and entered the world. Jesus is God spelling himself out in a language that man can understand, a language of spirit and life. For how long will we continue to think, talk and live in the natural when Jesus is waiting for you at the point of his spirit? It is time to go back to the College of God and seek the Spirit. From our many years of learning under and working with God's general, Prophet T.B. Joshua, until he was called home to heaven, a passion has kindled in our heart to impart the treasure God has given us, the living word in the power of the Holy Spirit. The letter of the word cannot move, cannot operate without the life of God. Every word of God is spirit and life. And it's the very life of God in that word that injects power, energy to the word. This is the word that heals, saves, delivers, that enables the believer to live a victorious life in Christ. Just like Simon Peter in that book of John 6, verse 68, we have discovered that there's no alternative to Jesus because only he has the words of eternal life. After our mentor was called home on June 5, 2021, like the disciples of old, when Jesus ascended to heaven, we have been waiting in faith. On December 8th, 2021, I received a vision from God and the name, the University of God, was given to me. I found myself in a glass compartment inside a cave without exit. Suddenly, a mighty rock came from heaven and hit the rocky mountain. It pierced the cave. The mountain shook, but I remained steady inside the glass compartment. The rock drilled through the rocky mountain. I watched. Then I came out and walked. I stopped and gasped as I saw. The rock had drilled a perfect, beautiful tunnel made of gold. I said to myself, 
there must be water at the end of this tunnel. I started walking. Suddenly, a voice came from above. Stay where you are. Don't enter. The water is coming to you. I stopped and stayed where I was. As I stood still, suddenly I saw the water flowing from the end of the tunnel towards me. The water was clear, sparkling with life. It flowed closer, closer and closer until it reached my toes and washed my feet as a wave at the seashore. While I was pondering on the vision, my heart prompted me to the book of Daniel chapter 2. I read, In the time of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. This is the meaning of the vision of the rock cut out of the mountain, but not by human hands. A rock that broke the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold to pieces. What is the purpose of the rock? As it says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, I read, See today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The purpose of the rock is to remove the barrier between our heart and God. When a man yields his heart to the Holy Spirit, the veil is taken away. The word of God is the seed of divine life that comes into our heart and causes faith to grow. The vision is for an appointed time, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. Now the time has come. The vision is to link man back to God through his word, by his spirit. To edify the body of Christ and to cooperate with a network of churches all around the world. The vision is in line with the calling and gift of God in our lives. The rock that fall from heaven is the word of the kingdom, as Jesus said in Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. Our vision is to help get the word into people's hearts because it's only there that it works effectively. As the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 3. Let me read it for you. You show that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God not in tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. During the last two decades under the mentorship of Prophet T.B. Joshua, our interaction with thousands of believers and church leaders worldwide and the recurring questions raised by so many during lectures have drawn our focus to the practical side of Christianity. I mean, our daily walk with the Holy Spirit. How to develop spiritual awareness, how to hear from God, how to build one's faith in the face of life's uncertainties. These core issues and others will be addressed under the guidance of the Holy Spirit through in-depth teaching sessions with time for interactive questions and answers. Our vision also embraces local churches. We want to cooperate with the network of ministries to impart our knowledge, experience and spiritual gifts as a spirit leads. Until today's church realizes that the spirit of man is the fountain of faith, that is when the Holy Spirit will be involved in our affairs. Join us in the University of God. Sense knowledge ceases when revelation comes. As our mentor, Prophet T.B. Yeshua taught us, in the University of God, however brilliant you may be, you will not be given double promotion. You must take every course, for each course serves a purpose. So what do you need? An open heart. What are the materials required to take every course? 
I mean to not give up, look for alternatives, or despair at life's often cruel blows. Humility, faith, endurance, perseverance, forgiveness, love without expectation. Who marks our work? The Holy Spirit. God is waiting for you at the point of his spirit.